Welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed. This is episode 14, I think? It's either 13 or 14, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we're back here at the uh, Assassin's Bureau. Altair? How fares your search for Garnier? I know when and how to strike. Share your knowledge with me, then. He lives and works within the Order's Hospital, northwest of here. Rumors speak of atrocities committed within its walls. It seems the good doctor enjoys experimenting on innocent citizens. Most of them kidnapped and brought here from Jerusalem. Clever. By stealing his subjects from another city, he avoids arousing too much suspicion here. But back to the matter at hand. What is your plan? Gagne keeps mainly to his quarters inside the hospital, though he leaves occasionally to inspect his patients. It's when he makes his rounds that I will strike. It's clear you've given this some thought. I give you leave to go. Bam. Remove this stain from Akka, Altai. Perhaps it will help cleanse your own. Rest here until you're ready to begin your mission. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it looks like I missed, uh, as I said in the last episode, it looks like I missed some of this stuff in uh, Jerusalem. I'll have to go back and see if I can figure out why the hell I missed it. But, now we are on the run over to... Go assassinate this uh, doctor, apparently. You have no reason to be here. Leave now. Well, you have no reason to be alive, so shut up. That fool must be out of his mind. Alright, almost there. Oh yeah, now I know what else to do. He hurts himself. I'm not helping. Come on. Alright. So I have to get inside the blend. And then now they're gonna go. They're gonna get me inside, which is where I need to be. Come on. No, help! Help me! Help me! Please! You must help me! Damn, they're beating the shit out of that dude. Enough, my child. I asked you to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. There, there. Everything will be all right. No! Give me no. your hand. Don't touch me! Not again! Cast out this fear, else I cannot help you. Help me? Like you helped the others? You took their souls! I saw. I saw! But not mine. No! You'll not have mine! Uh! Take hold of yourself. Do you think this gives me pleasure? Do you think I want to hurt you? But you leave me no choice. Every kind word matched by the back of his hand. All lies and deception. He won't be content until all bow before him. You should not have done that. Return him to his quarters. I'll be along once I've tended to the you others. You can't keep me here. I'll escape again. No, you won't. 
Break these legs, both of them. Damn. God damn, but you here, I mean, it's not to do. necessarily realistic, like the breaking of his leg, but damn. Alright. We're gonna follow these, uh, scholars inside here. <laughs> ah, he's awake. <laughs> now does he feel to be whole? I don't know how you did it. It was an easy to show you. You fought hard. Most of you. Now it's not. I thought you might not. I thought you might not. What the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> See here, where's he at? Where's he at? Since I just passed him. Son of a bitch, I don't even remember. God damn it. He stirs. How? How did you do it? I have my way. The worst is over then. So tired. Then rest, my child. Bam! Fuck your shit. Let bro. go your burden. Ah. I'll rest now, yes. The endless dream calls to me. But before I close my eyes, I must know what will become of my children. You mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments? They'll be free now to return to their homes. Homes? What homes? The sewers? The portals? The prisons that we dragged them from? You took these people against their will. Yes. What little will there was for them to have. Are you really so naive? Do you appease a kind child simply because he wails? But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? As you wish. Ah. Then you'd answer for his burn. These are not children, but men and women full grown. In body, perhaps, but not in mind. Which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the peace of Eden, which you stole from us, my progress was slowed. But the herbs, mixtures, and extracts, my guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. <sighs> and with my death, madmen they will be again. You truly believe you were helping them? It's not what I believe. It's what I know. Alright, now it's time to get the fuck out of here. Son of a bitch. I'm guessing this is another way you could have gone about it. Oh, well, you can go fuck yourself. No, we're not fighting on these fucking temples. Not gonna happen. 
Get the fuck out of my way, dude. I swear to God, I hate people. inside there. I was, but it wasn't letting me. That was a bad idea. God damn it. There's a flag. Jump inside the barrel of hay. And then when we get done, we will climb up this wall right here. Downstairs, go down. There we go. What news, Altair? Gagne is dead. Then you should return to Masayak with news of your victory. There is something else. Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them an experiment on them as he did? Yours is not to ask, but act, Altair. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagne seemed to believe he was helping these people. Is that what you saw? No. What I saw was not a place of healing, but of pain. Then why are we having this conversation? I... I don't know. Forget yeah, I spoke. He starts to, uh, I already have. Second guess everything that um, our Muallim is having him doing. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Now it asks us if we want to fast forward, we're going to. Er, actually, we're getting out of the animus way, it looks like. I don't remember this, but. God damn it! What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something! How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are, un are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. Nah, bitch. I'm not going laying down. I don't trust you. I want to read. I want to talk to you. Why is he always yelling at you? It's his machine. His theories. He's not the one who built it. Who did? You? <laughs> no. Abstergo has a team of engineers. Not much they don't have, but I did oversee the assembly. Guess that's why he gets so angry with me. He's a dick. He's under a lot of pressure. We all are. I can't believe you're defending the guy. Warren saved my life, so if he wants to yell a little, let him. You gonna talk to me again? What do you mean he saved your life? You're not the only one who doesn't get to go home at night. Wait, are you saying you're a prisoner? When they first approached me, I was finishing up my PhD. The university had made it clear I had no future there. They didn't like the subject of my doctorate, called it pseudoscience. Said keeping me on would discredit and embarrass them. It was the same everywhere. Other universities, companies I interviewed with. 
Pretty soon I was out of money and out of time. I was this close to waiting tables. Then I got a letter. From Vidic? He said he'd been following my career since undergrad, that he believed in my work and wanted to meet to discuss my future. You have no idea how good it felt to hear that. So I met with him. What did I have to lose? And he offered you a job? Yes, here at Abstergo, helping out on the Animus Project. I'd have a chance to test my theories and prove the professors wrong. How could I turn that down? I think I'm missing the part where you became a prisoner. Sometimes I wonder if they weren't behind it all. If they manipulated events so that I'd get desperate. They can do that. They can do anything. I didn't think when I agreed to come here. They even told me I'd be trapped. For six months, a year max. Once the product launched, there'd be no need for secrecy anymore. But until then, I'd be a guest of the company. At least, that's what they said. And when the Animus was ready? They came in while I was sleeping. Three guys. Guns. They dragged me out of bed. God. The worst part is I knew them. One guy, Richard, we ate lunch together sometimes. And now he was gonna... They were cracking jokes. I tried to pull away. He hit me. And that's when he told me I was going to die. Christ, what did you Nothing. do? Nothing. I kept telling myself it wasn't real. And then Warren was there, shouting at them to get away from me. And they listened. Jesus. He's not a happy man, Desmond. I wouldn't even say he's a good man, but he saved my life. They never came for me again, and he promised they never would. You're still stuck here working for these nutjobs. But I'm alive. Anyway, I really do need to get the Animus repaired. I'll see you tomorrow, Desmond. No, bitch. You're not done with me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Nope, I'm not done with you. You are not done with me. Aren't you tired? No. Not tired, damn it. We're trying to make me go to sleep. Let's see if we can use Vidic's laptop. Nope. I guess we're gonna go to bed. Actually, you know what? We will do that in the next episode. So that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Assassin's Creed. If you enjoy this series, don't forget don't forget, don't forget to hit that like button to show you support. And, um, of course, you know, keep coming back every day, Monday through Friday, to see another episode of Assassin's Creed. And I will catch you guys in the very next video. Peace!